Alrighty, it's that time again just for another update on our 2024 19.6 No Boundaries travel trailer. We bought this in uh, November of 2023. This is our, I believe, 14th trip with it. I've already done reviews of pretty much everything on the inside and the outside. I thought I'd just do an update right now. It's... Um, August 18th and we're camping at Union Valley Reservoir Fushuda Camp uh, it's called Shady Camp Loop which it's it is pretty shady around here but we're here for the whole week a um, couple new things got this uh, fit windshield cover uh, pretty pricey they're about $350 but it's well worth it because the new windshield is about $600 and uh, I really didn't trust how well it was going to work because it's just magnets, you can't really see them. But there's uh, really big earth magnets that hold it in the windshield. And uh, this is about my third trip with it and it's worked perfectly fine. Has not fallen off yet. The other new thing I put on here was a um, Victron shunt. I put it inside this box right here just so there's plenty of room to uh, make the connections and stuff. I just put it on yesterday, so it's still new, but it seems to be doing what it's supposed to do, and just a little bit better tracking with an app for the uh, battery system, the lithium battery system. Uh, this side of the trailer, nothing really new. Still no problems with it, knock on wood. We've got the 28 gallon portable tank. We're gonna be here for a week. Uh, dry camping, so we may or may not have to use that. That's the one thing about this trailer is the tanks are kind of small. They're all 30 gallon and on the gray tank after three or four days and a shower or two, um, you really have to dump that gray tank. Got one of the electric bikes hanging off the bumper. And I think I showed this in another video, uh, Wild Road. This is such an awesome bike rack. It is so sturdy. Uh, I feel completely safe going down the road. It can actually hold two bikes. Um, I don't know. Maybe I wouldn't feel as good with two bikes on there. But one bike, it feels perfectly fine. Backup camera is amazing. People laugh. Oh, you don't need a backup camera if you know how to drive a travel trailer. It does help out a lot when you're by yourself. Um, oh, I never talked about this. So, this door... The outside is glass. It's about a quarter inch uh, tempered glass. And I tried to replace the uh, lock with a smart lock and uh, it didn't quite fit. And I forced it, I guess, I guess a little bit too much and it shattered the whole door. And it was right before a big trip. So that was not fun. Um, new door was about 700 bucks, but it was actually really easy to install. When I bought it from the dealership, it came with a whole new frame threshold, the whole nine yards and a screen. But all I had to do was take the screws out of the hinge and put it on the new door. But yeah, it was, um, that was a sad week, breaking that glass door. And I lost the little logo because before I had the little billy goat. And the new door didn't come with the uh, little logo. So I have to uh, find someone that can make that for me. Maybe I'll change it from a billy goat to our dog, Bolt. Hey, Bolt, say hi. Um, this side of the trailer, again, nothing really new. Uh, the graphics are holding up. Nothing is uh, losing its uh, color. Uh, still love the suspension. It rides high. Uh, it's smooth going down the road. Um, last weekend, I went to um, Upper and Lower Blue Lakes, did some burst camping on a forest road, and it was a rough forest road, the worst I've ever been on. But no cabinets opened up. Everything was smooth. Uh, no problems on the inside with that uh, Kurt Beast Mode suspension. I've shown that in another video. It's kind of dark, so you're not going to be able to see it too well, I don't think. But anyway, it's a pretty cool suspension. I can't keep talking about it. Or I can't stop talking about it. It's awesome. <laughs> um, that's the trailer the outside. I got this thing for our dog because it keeps on popping up on Instagram. It's not quite big enough. I need a couple more, but he gets, he gets the point. He's staying in there. Plus it'll keep the bears out. Uh, so inside, uh, inside, let's see, nothing really got the, uh, 
kick pan, center vac, pantry with the mirrors back here, which is really cool. The bathroom, I've done a video on the bathroom before, same old thing, nothing special in the bathroom. Refrigerator, freezer, obviously, couch. Um, Murphy bed, which is always in the down position. We never use it as the, uh, the couch. Here's what I was talking about with those magnets on the inside. They're about three inches on di in diameter and there's uh they're all the way around they hold up really well so far um breakfast bar i've said before that's why we bought this one because we love this breakfast bar um oh the other thing on my last trip i don't know how i did it but i had the uh i closed the glass top and i had the um grill on and about after two or three minutes, the thing exploded in a million pieces. So I'm kind of having bad luck on uh, glass in this travel trailer. So anyway, yeah, this thing used to be glass, which was nice. And then it's broken and I can't seem to find just a replacement glass. I don't understand. Even in the manual, it doesn't even show this exact version. So I don't know. We might just make a chopping block and put over it. At least it won't break. Of course, it'll catch on fire, but it won't break. So anyway, um, again, I've talked about this trailer. I love this trailer. This has been an awesome trailer. 14 trips and the only problems we've had are stuff that I've done do, to it. So I can't blame the, uh, the manufacturer. Um, hoping to do a lot, lot more trips. This campground's pretty nice, but obviously don't ever get a, a campsite next to the bathroom because it does kind of have that smell. So anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. Again, this is the no boundaries 19.6. It's 24.8 inches. It's like 10 and a half feet tall. Um, it's a great trailer. All right. Have fun. Bye.